Today's video is all about the difference between fighting for stage and screen. What's up warriors? Welcome to the channel. Make sure you support us by liking, sharing and hitting that subscribe button. So today's video is all about looking at the difference between stage and screen combat. So let's go. Stage and screen fighting use a technique called stage combat, which creates the illusion of physical contact without causing any harm. With screen combat, you also look at working with stunt techniques. If you want to know more about stage combat, then check out this video. And if you want to know where stage combat came from, then check out this one. So now let's look at the real difference between the two. First, fighting for stage. Stage combat is a fighting technique used in theatre. It allows us to have duels, battles, conflict without anyone getting hurt. This technique is often used by actors who have to learn the technique on the job or have little knowledge of it. Unlike fighting for screen where you have professional stunt performers who are specialised and trained in this area. So this then limits the amount of fancy moves, tricks and tricky choreography you can use on the stage. The choreography tends to be shorter to help the actors learn it and perfect it in time to perform it live on stage. As um, like fighting for film, they only get one shot. The actors often only have a week or a few days to pick up the routine, so something easy, efficient and effective is the way forward here. The three E's. Fights in theatre tend to be between two people, a duel, like in Shakespeare's play As You Like It. The actors take part in a boxing match. You do have some plays where you have more than two people in a fight, but this tends to be for a short moment and then returns back to the one-on-one -on -one style. Like in Romeo and Juliet with Romeo, Tybalt and Mercutio. There is a moment in this fight where the three of them are involved, but it quickly turns back to a one-on-one -on -one duel. If you're looking for great fight scenes for theatre, then we will have a whole video coming out soon about our favourite fight scenes, so make sure you check that out. Safety always plays a massive part in stage combat, especially when fighting for stage as actors aren't as well trained as stunt performers and we need to be wary of this. Therefore, we put distance in place, making sure our partner is an arm's length away in unarmed combat and an arm and a weapon's length away in armed combat. This distance allows room for error. If something goes wrong, then they are out of reach and won't get hurt. As well as it mainly being used for safety, it also allows us to create space so the audience can see exactly what is going on, so that they can be involved in each slash, thrust and stab. Having this open space allows them to be involved and see each move. In theatre, you can be heavily restricted by the space or completely free to it, depending on what type of set you're working with. Plays that are focused on big battles and fight scenes often have simpler sets, so that the fight has room to play and it's safe to do so. Other plays that are less focused on fight scenes tend to have more on set, so you'll have to work your fight around these objects or perhaps even include them in your fight scene. But often in theatre you do have the room to play with and you can create that safe distance, which isn't always possible in fighting for film. If you have had any training in stage combat or watched any of our videos, you will hear the term nap used quite a lot. A nap is a sound we create to make the sound of physical contact without actually harming anyone. This technique is uniquely used in stage combat, as in fighting for film, they use editing to create the sound of physical contact. In film, they don't have to make the sound themselves, where in stage combat, as well as performing the move, remaining safe, telling a story, reacting, you also have to make the sound of impact. So to quickly recap on those points in fighting for theater, use naps, create a safe distance in fight scenes. It uses the space to conduct the fight and has the room to play with. Less freedom to create fancy choreography as you are working with actors, not professional stunt performers. Only one shot to get it right in the performance. Tends to be one-on-one -on -one fight scenes instead of big battles. Shorter and less fancy choreography. Fighting the stage, done. And next, we will look at fighting for screen. So first, the most obvious thing when fighting for film is that we have professional stunt performers to work with who are specialised in this area. They are trained in everything from fire stunts to car stunts to horse tricks to high falls. 
these superhumans can do anything. So when making your fight scene, you can make it as epic as you want, with as many tricks and flips as you please. The scenes can be as big as they want to be, from major battle scenes to the hero fighting off hundreds of people, to gross group fights. This is all possible, now we are fighting for film. As well as this, we also have all the equipment and effects added into the mix. Meaning our stunt performers can fly on wires, be set on fire, or do car rolls. Having all of this equipment really opens up the freedom to create some really incredible action scenes. Often when filming fight scenes, the camera is very close to the action. So although you have some incredible equipment, you also have some very, very, very expensive equipment right next to you and you need to be aware of it. This can limit the amount of room you have to fight and so the routine will have to adapt to it. Although the fight can be taken in as many takes and angles as possible, so this isn't necessarily a problem, especially for the main fight. If you are a background fighter, then you may have to quickly adapt your routine on the spot if the camera is too close or someone else's routine goes wrong. And that is why they are highly trained professionals. The fight will be broken up a lot to film, especially if there is a load of stunts involved. This is in order to film different sections of the fight, get close-ups, different angles, or in order to sell the move. Selling the move for film often means you have to close the distance gap. So it looks like the move has worked and you have caught the other person. Being in distance can be very dangerous and must be rehearsed and practiced even if you are a trained professional. If you're a fan of action films or TV series, then you will know that these fight scenes tend to go on a little longer than they would in perhaps real life. From 20 minute gunfights to 10 knockout punches, but you can still get up. Sometimes our favorites aren't realistic, but who doesn't love a great fight scene? If you've been part of a major battle scene or a background fighter, then you will know this next trick. Your background fighters will consist of stunt performers or highly trained professionals known in the fight industry. So now I'm gonna ask you to go and watch your favorite battle scene and watch the stunties in the background. You will find them repeating the same few moves, normally about four to six moves that they can turn on the spot and make slightly different. They will create this short piece minutes before the cameras start rolling and have to maintain it throughout each take. I'm sorry if I have ruined your favorite battle scenes, but now you know a cool trick. So let's just recap those points. Working with stunt performers who are highly trained in this area can create epic battles and fight scenes with high-tech equipment and effects. Background fighters tend to have short routines which are repeated. Bigger, longer, sometimes unrealistic fight scenes. Often more than two people fighting, so big battle scenes and group fights broken up fight scenes due to filming and adding stunts, often in distance fighting to sell the moves to camera. Cameras on set tend to create less room to fight, especially for the background fighters. Ta-da, we're done. And that's it. As you can see, similar techniques are used in both, but they each have their own styles and focuses. Each have their own pros and cons, but when done well, both are exciting and gripping to watch. So what is your favorite fight scene? Let us know in the comments. So that's it, Warriors. That's this week's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out what else we do here at Combat Live. And remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you again soon, Warriors.